Howdy folks, uh, we've got another power station in here. I just saw on the news 400,000 people without power up north right now, wind, winter, whatever. And it's something like this. This is something that would be really handy to have right about now. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about this. This is a power station. It's a you know emergency standby power unit, but it's also great for RV, for camping, boating, uh, backup power for your 3D printer, your computer, your internet modem system, something where you want that power and you want to keep it going, you need something like this. And these are these are great, but uh, they're all different with features and stuff. And this one here has a feature that I really like. It kind of excited me a little bit, and we'll get into that. Uh, but let's get a look at this Percron. Yeah, let's get a look at it right now. Yeah, Pecron, and it. Uh, this is what comes in the box when you get the Pecron. Now, I gotta jump on this immediately because it's gonna be very confusing for a lot of people, and I understand, okay? But this is the uh, E600, which is a 1200 watt uh, system. So, yeah, she puts out 1200 watts on the AC on the 110. I don't know why they do that with the uh, model numbers and names, but uh, other companies do it as well. A lot of times you can't go by model number. It doesn't tell you anything. So yeah, <laughs> I guess they do that so they have room for other models or something maybe. Um, I, I can't figure this out, but uh, here's Pecron. And it came in a box like this with this really nice case. And it's a nice case, which when you open it up, gives you all your different power supplies and cables. So you have everything you're going to need to tie into solar or charge off of a, uh, looks like a, yep, you know, you've got the old cigarette lighter plug. And of course the 110, which includes an interesting charger indicator here that's a little bit unusual. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this with the other models, so this is a little different. And like I said, everything about this is going to be a little different, you know. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I guess I'll just show you the website and just show you that right there. That they have a lot of product and they're nice looking but the thing is with this particular one here is it's again it's fairly it's heavy but it's light it's a i think we're around 18 pound i believe it says but the charging and everything is different and again this is where these little units like this one here surprise me because it's a small compact unit really good for the you know the hiking the camping the rv or just some small standby power to keep your modem or your computer going your laptop or as a backup system for something even probably 3d printing because 1200 watts will get you all that stuff easily you know in fact it'll get you multiples of that sort of thing because that's not a lot of power we're talking about but 1200 watts will carry a lot on its own you know a power tool whatever and it's compact really compact and the whole thing that really caught me was this is an important number how much charge will it let in from solar? That to me is a, you know, that's kind of like the deal breaker. I've had some great big ones in here and they only allow 200 watts in from solar. That means it'll take all day, you know, to recharge or something. That's not the case here. This one will allow 400 watts of solar to come in and charge. Yeah. Now the cables are different. They do have the MC4 cable, but the plug is very specialized. It'll go into the input to charge this up, which that's fine, you know, that's cool. In fact, it's really cool because I will never, you know, I will never have a problem mixing this cable with anything else I have in this shop because there's, it only fits this machine right here. Right on the top immediately, of course, we have the big nice, nice area here for charging the phone. Now, this came in and it's around, I think, 67% charged or something. So the very first thing we're gonna have to do is take it outside, throw it on solar panels, and let's charge it up 100% and just take a look at it and see how fast it does, right? And that's, you know, that's a big one for me. And having that 400 watts, that essentially is very important. Okay, so I took the little Pecron and the solar cable, connected it to a 400 watt portable panel set out in the garage here, well, out in the driveway right now. And already it's showing 0.8 of an hour to fully charge from the 67%. So like I said, that 400 watts in really means it'll charge fast. And if you're a camper RV or whatever it is you're doing, if you've got some portable panels and you can bring that thing up that quickly, that's a big win. That's a big win part of that whole game is to get the thing charged up to 100% and go back to using it or continue to use it while you're charging it. So uh, we'll go outside for a minute and we'll see if we can see the numbers because uh, the sunlight is not helping. We are overcast. 
go figure. I had sunshine all morning. It was about 10 o'clock here and I wanted to run out and get this and sun went behind a cloud. <laughs> Mother Nature doesn't like solar. Who knew? <laughs> I'll just show you a real quick shot. This is the solar panels out on the driveway uh, hooked up to the little Percon uh, power uh, station and you can see it's charging up really, really rapidly, which is really, uh, that's a big important thing. Okay, uh, we're a little windy out here too, great. But anyway, there's where we're at, right? We've already jumped to 70%. We've got, looks like 0.8 of an hour for full charge at 222 watts. This is a 400 watt panel system, but the sun is not really shining all that great. It's starting to come out from behind the clouds a little bit, so. If that sun will really beat on us, that thing will even charge even faster. And it's been a couple of minutes now, and here I'll hit the button there. Here we go, so we can see this. And you can see it's at 75%. You got about, well, half an hour roughly to go, and we will be fully charged at 225 watts coming in from a 400 watt panel system. It's still a little overcast, so we don't have full sun, and the angle's pretty bad because it's uh, only about 10.30 in the morning. So, okay, let's do this. Uh, it's 10 minutes to 11 right now time-wise so we'll see we'll, when we come back we'll see what time it is and see how long this actually took but okay there she is it's 20 minutes after 11 it's been about a half hour and she is fully charged so let's go back in and talk about it okay we're 100 percent charged and we are back inside right now uh first things i want to show you was here's a dc input for charging the unit this plugs into a cigarette lighter plug which they supply the cable with I don't recommend it, but this one is one of, again, one of the more unusual units because it actually limits it to 100 watts, which will kind of help it to stay out of trouble as far as getting too hot or something because I really don't like uh, cigarette lighter tr charge systems like uh, for any of these uh, power supplies. But yeah, they have it, but the limit on the 100 might be a good thing. Now, down here, and we'll pop this cap up, I guess. This is where your solar and or your house current is going to be coming in to charge the system. I really like solar, so that's you know why it sort of tickles me. But here's the big caveat, and I'm going to try to explain this. This has to run. Yeah, so for solar, uh, this is technically running from 32 volt to 95 volt. Now, I was at 27 and charging, so not really too sure what happened there, but uh, around 32 volt is ideal or higher to 95 volts, which means you can run 400 watts. The, the, volt, the higher voltage is gonna keep the current or the amps down so things don't get hot and stupid on you. So this is really a very unusual setup, but if you have some commercial panels laying around or something like that even, this would be great because there's a lot of uh, portable panels too out there and a lot of them, you'll, you'll be surprised. The voltage on some of them can be very high and this is designed to deal with that situation and give you fast charging. So that's, it's really a good thing. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, of course, we have the three AC outputs with a output measured up to 1200 watts. So this would be 1200 watts in, you know, total. So not each, because if you plug 1200 and 1200 and 1200, obviously, no. <clears throat> you know, you're gonna be <clears throat> way over what you have to have there. Now, the power button on this thing is really strange. It says DC out, and you hit that, and of course the, uh, of course nothing happened. Okay, we'll try again, well, DC out, we'll hold the button a little bit, there we go. And now it's showing DC out at 100%, uh, zero watts coming in, of course, uh, so it's expected, and it looks like if you read this right, it looks like it says it'll last 203 hours right now because there's no load on it, of course, but. Uh, so it's got a fairly nice, fairly basic, uh, but you can do this. Now, let's see if I can get this done here. 26.6 uh, volts, which is off the battery. So again, this is a high, uh, a high voltage battery. It's one of the ways, ways they got around with making it compact, but able to store quite a bit of power and offer quite a bit of output. So we hit the button again, we come back, it shows 100% battery. Now the AC output is kind of weird. I can turn it on. Uh, with this button here and there's no indication of anything but that's fine it is a very nice economical situation here uh, they didn't waste any money on this I guess now over here we've got the USB-C and the USB-C now one's 18 watt one's 100 watt then we got the USB-A I guess we'll call them the original USB <laughs> the old ones 18 watt and 18 watts so you have you know the capability to charge phones or laptops or whatever it is you need to run on a USB system. Also, we have two DC barrel plugs. Again, I never use these. I don't really care for these things at all to even be on there, but they're on there. And we'll, we'll just pop the pop the old 
uh, cigarette lighter plug up for a minute here, and there's a cigarette lighter plug. Um, 12 volt output, and I don't see a current or anything limitation anywhere here on it. Yeah, though no, it's not rated on the machine itself, at least it's not written out. On the sides of, of the both sides, on the and the back, there's nothing, and so there's no funky light or any of that weird, you know, strange stuff going on. There is a phone charger on top. I'm just going to turn it around. There's cooling fans here, which and on the back, of course, is very plain, very nothing. And then again, cooling vent systems here for air to come through, for airflow. So I wouldn't call her uh, weather tight or something like that, or rain tight or anything like that. And it really is, let's face it, uh, with this kind of investment, you don't just leave this thing laying out in the field with the rain or something anyways. Now, to shut it off, there we go. I got it off, yeah. And you just hit this button. Now it doesn't say power, it just says DC out. So I don't know, they come in, they did like a combination with the button. Again, very economical way to, of design and compact and putting out 1200 watts. I don't see a surge rating on this thing. If I can find one, I'll show it to you. I imagine it would probably be 2400 watt surge or something, but I, I didn't see it. So yeah, we really don't know on that part. The uh, E600 L, FP is the actual designated model of this one. Great price and it offers all the nice basic features. I think the only thing you got to watch is a lot of happy campers out there who will think that a 12 volt power supply off a solar panel is going to charge in this thing and it's really it's kind of like a no. No, you you want to if you have a couple of panels uh, wire them in series to up your voltage so you can get up into this 32 volt range so you can you know charge this up. That higher voltage saves a lot of current, a lot of heat, and in the, in the turnaround, it'll also charge really fast. So really have got zero complaints with this one. It uh, seems like it's a really nice unit. There'll be a link in the description below where you can find this. And also, I invite you to check back in about 24 to 48 hours sometimes and see if we have a discount code. Sometimes the manufacturer supplies us with a discount code for customers you know, a couple days later sometimes, and we post that right underneath the description where you can find it as well. Uh, the only other thing that I wanted to mention today too was, uh, because it's been, the question has come up. This one here, the reason I like that 400 watt uh, solar charge is you can be drawing, say, 200 watts from the power. You can have something plugged in, drawing 200 watts, and if you have solar panels out someplace else that are bringing in power up to 400 watts, theoretically, you can keep this charged or charge it up while you're using it at the same time. And that's kind of an important uh, fact for some too, because not all these devices will allow that, but this one here is one of those ones where, yes, you can be charging it at one end and using power at the other at the same time. And that 400 watts, again, gives you that bigger span or, you know, you can just be drawing that much more power and not running this thing down. You can have, you've still got the power back up after the sun goes down, yeah. <laughs> Once the sun goes down, it's game over. <laughs> but you're on, you're on your own until the next morning. <laughs> but, but the fact is, uh, it'll allow you to do both at the same time. And that is a big plus. So, I also have to thank uh, Pecron for sending this over to us so we could review it today because it is it's an interesting machine. A little different. Numbers are a little different. Everything about it was like, yeah, this is just comes in from a different angle, but I like what they did. They reduced the features, got the price down for you, so it's a very affordable you know, way of having emergency power and having some pretty good features at the same time. Awesome product, right. You know, I can't say anything bad about it at all. Now, meantime, I'm gonna thank everybody for please uh, tuning in today and watching Coffee and Tools, and please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. Uh, we've got some giveaway stuff too. I gotta get back to that. Oh, man, gotta get back to that. In the meantime, I guess I'm going to get out of here over and out.